So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this crossbow right here. But first, I'm going to try using it. I'm going to need uh, one elastic band for this. Because I'm not shooting too far. Push it back. Got lucky there. Last one, let's try two elastics. For the last two, we'll do that. Ooh, did I miss that? Oh, right beside it. And now to see if I can take this down here. Let's see what we can do. Start off using one elastic because I don't need all that power. Let's start off top row. Oh, it went right in between those two. <laughs> I got four more. Let's see if I can take those with two bullets. <laughs> Let's charge this up a little more. Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this right here. It's a crossbow. So I'll quickly show you it working and then we'll start making it. You load it up from here, you pull the elastic around the back of it, and you squeeze the straw, pull it back, and fire away. And it actually packs quite a punch. So this is the crossbow we are going to be making today. Something I came up with all by myself. <laughs> so, first we're going to start off with uh, two sheets of paper and um, two popsicle sticks. These aren't normal popsicle sticks, these are um, thin ones. I found this at Second Cup, but um, you might be able to find them at the dollar store too. I start off by cutting slits in the ends of them. You don't necessarily need to do that, but it'd be helpful. Um, thing is, I had to use a saw because if you use um, if you use these right here, you'll uh, end up splitting the wood. So first, I'm going to fold this over. I believe it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. And first sheet of paper folds over like that. Just uh, run your finger along the crease and roll this up into a circle. You want the circle to be basically big enough so that you can put in a, lot, um, a popsicle stick on each side like that and there'll be room for a straw to fit through the middle. There you go. Once you get that there, 
you can cut a piece of tape. Then with your scissors, you can cut this rough end right here off, the one where um, the crease was. The reason why we don't do that before is just because it's easier to roll two sheets of paper when, um, when they're not separate from each other. And then there you go, looks nice. Next. So we just rolled this part right here. Next we're going to roll this part right here. This part here is going to be around the, the same, we want the same uh, width or circumference of the circle. The same circumference as this one here. Unrolling it up, you can tape that off too. Put a piece of tape on each end. Next, we are going to glue the, um, the springy part of the crossbow on, I guess you could say. So, for that, on the flat side, the side's flat because we just cut it. You can face it up and position those how you'd like them to be, know how you want them to be. And um, then grab some hot glue. Now you have a uh, base six of your crossbow done. You need to put an elastic band across them. Um, so I'm gonna get an elastic band. First get all the glue off me. Clear the area up so you can see better. Of the grooves here. You're still gonna require glue even though you have grooves. You can actually fold it in a kind of figure, not a figure eight, just uh, actually it's like part of a figure eight like that. And do it like that across this one here. To finish it off, we'll put this right here. Two dabs of glue. You can put the um, the end with like the paper that's uh, sticking out facing uh, down, or yeah, facing down, so uh, so you don't see it. It's kind of ugly. And there you go. That's your crossbow. And then to finish it off. Well, actually, before we finish it off, we need to make a bullet. So I'm going to use um, a straw. Now, the reason why you want to use a straw, most people would think a skewer, one of the first thing that comes to mind, but a straw is less dangerous. And also, um, when you're loading it up, it's easier because it's uh, wide, and so the elastic bands can easily uh, just get right in there. So to make your straw bullet, you put some glue in the end, you can actually see it filling up with glue. I fill mine up to about right here. Wait till it cools down a bit because it's going to be pretty hot. So I'm going to fill mine up a little more. There we go. Just add some weight to the front of it so that it um so that it goes straight and stuff. And then once it's cool enough to squeeze, you can squeeze it. Some glue will come out, but it comes to a point like that. And then, if you want to add something uh, cool looking to your bow, or your crossbow, I uh, just cut this up. It's the exact same thing as these two here, except the lengths are a little different. This here is about the same length as this. This is a little less than half. 
You could use this for um, a handle if you want. If you can find some way of attaching it so that it um, so that it it holds steady, because you have one hand back here at the back pulling it, so you could have one hand holding onto it like this. That would be helpful, or maybe you want something like this that'd look kind of cool. Um, something on the top, like a scope. But then this has to go over that. Just don't forget that. But um, I'll test this out. Let's find the hole and we can put it through sideways like that. Grab these two. One. Oh. And two. Squeeze the back of this. So you can grab it, pull it back, and that straw flies. And just so you can see how far this shoots, I'm taking it outside in winter time. Hopefully you'll be able to see these. We're going to look to see how far this thing shoots. I better get subscribers for this coming outside in the winter time. Uh, let's load it up. Well, let's see how far it shoots. I'm not sure if you saw that, but I went right by that uh, that fireplace right there. I think I can't even see it from here. Oh, let's see. Try shooting another one. Uh, ready? I see where that one landed. Right there, you see that? And for the very last shot. Let's see if I can load this. Oh, I'm freezing up here. Okay, ready. Let's uh, get this in view for you. That one didn't go so far. Took a nosedive early on. Or is it? Is that it? No. Well, it went somewhere around there. Didn't quite make it as far as the last. Oh, is that it? No. Anyways, there you are.